Attorney General has cleared the final two behavioral health providers under investigation for fraud. This comes three years after the state cut off more than a dozen providers based on allegations of those providers overbilling by tens of millions of dollars. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with more. Well, Jessica and Dean, the Attorney General says his investigation found regulatory viola violations, maybe even questionable spending practices, but it did not find any evidence of fraud. That's important because the 2013 audit from the state's Human Services Department said 15 nonprofit providers mishandled $36 million in Medicaid funding so badly that the governor's administration worried about fraud and canceled contracts for mental health services. The AG's office investigation found no fraud and found just over $1 million in overbilling, a fraction of that original number. The AG says it's up to Human Services to go after that funding and get those providers back on track. There needs to be greater detail, greater efficiency when referring these cases so that we do not put at risk any patients or vulnerable populations in New Mexico. But the Human Services Department argues that behavioral health programs for New Mexicans have grown in recent years. And the department and the governor pointed out today that CEOs from those companies used Medicaid dollars for things like private planes and luxury travel. Now, Baldera says that might be true, but it's not fraud. In other words, they may be questionable, but not illegal. And it's up to Human Services to be a better watchdog in the future. Dean, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. The Human Services Department says it will continue to work to recoup the misspent and overbilled Medicaid dollars that were squandered by those agencies.